Hey everyone and welcome back to another code.org video. Today we are working on lesson number 37, Pet Giraffe. I think this is going to be very similar to the previous lesson where it's basically just going to give us instructions and tell us what to do and then we'll just follow those instructions and it'll do it. However, there is very limited guidance out there available for these uh, particular things in Sprite Lab, so I feel like people will still benefit from a little bit of help from me. Alright, so the first puzzle in Lesson 37 is saying, make a prediction. This is Geraldine, your new pet giraffe. What do you think will happen if you press run and then click on her? So we look at this, it's going to set a background color, it's going to make the sprite Geraldine great at .200-200, and then this is what we're paying attention to down here. It says, when Geraldine clicked sprite, Geraldine begins wandering. So what I think is going to happen is Geraldine will begin wandering around the screen and that's all I'm gonna put for that you may want to put more or less so I hit run and then look at that she's moving around remember you cannot change these after you've submitted your response so keep that in mind alright so we'll go ahead and hit finish and continue on to puzzle number two all right, so here it says there's a mud puddle over in the corner. Create an event so that when Geraldine touches the puddle, her color changes to brown. Okay, so let's see. When Geraldine clicked, Geraldine begins wandering. So let's put an event. When Geraldine touches puddle, action. Is it action? Oh, I think so. Maybe not. Action. Um. Let's see where it is. Events behavior. Ah, Sprite Geraldine begins. Uh, I don't see. Geraldine. Let's see. Her color changes to brown. Okay, so let's look at. Where is that? Okay, events. Let's see. See, a lot of this is just getting lost in the. Oh, so we don't need sprite begins. We'll just do change color of Geraldine to brown. Where's brown? I don't see a brown color on here. We'll just go with that. And that looks more black than brown. We'll go with this reddish brown. Okay, so she's wandering perhaps okay there we go wandering 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 come on Geraldine touch the puddle oh goodness we're just going to assume that she turns that color okay so you're finished click continue cool alright so our next puzzle and this again in Sprite Lab a lot of this is just messing around and seeing what works for you uh, you may even have a different problem than this. All right, so it says, we can't have a dirty giraffe wandering around. Add a new soap sprite to the screen. Okay, let's add a new sprite. And let's call it... Oh, we don't have an option. We'll just call it soap. And give it the costume... Oh shoot, I clicked it, there it is, soap, okay. And then when Geraldine, so let's do events, no, actions, no. <laughs> Maybe it is events. When Geraldine touches soap, we will change the costume. Let's see if we can do that. No, we can't change them. Make it so the giraffe goes back to its normal color. Well, let's see if we can do that. I am trying to do that. Ah, change Geraldine costume to... Let's make her a giraffe again. Okay. And let's put the soap at a different spot. Let's put the soap here. 
And let's put the mud puddle someplace else too, so she'll almost certainly have to touch it. All right, so here we go. We're touching. Well, we touched the soap and that's doing nothing. <laughs> now we're gonna bounce back over. No, we're not gonna bounce back over. Okay, well, let's put this mud puddle right on top of her. Here we go. There, she's brown. And now it should change. Oh my goodness gracious, we're avoiding the soap. She doesn't want to take a bath. Okay, well, she's going to change back to a regular costume. Oh, here she goes. She's going to touch it. There we go. No, maybe she didn't touch it. Come on, touch the soap. Oh, well, that works fine. All right, continue. Puzzle number four. All right, so now it says we don't want to wait for the giraffe to clean itself every time. Add a behavior to your soap to make it draggable, then drag it over. Okay, add a behavior. Sprite. Ah, being draggable. So let's say. When. When soap clicked, Sprite soap begins being draggable. Okay. There we go. And do we have Win Geraldine? Touches soap, change costume to that. Yeah, okay, so let's get Geraldine moving. And then let's wash her with the soap. No? It still won't change her costume back, and I'm not sure why of that. It says change Geraldine costume to this, so it should do it. It's just not working right for some reason. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit finish, hit continue, and go on to puzzle number five. Okay, so now it says, all of this play takes energy. Add actions to each event so the giraffe gets a little smaller, shrinks by five each time it collects with another, collides with another sprite. Oh, are you kidding me? Actions, so. Change Geraldine's size, okay. So when she touches soap, change it. And then when she touches All right, when she touches the puddle, she'll change too. Okay, oh, we also, we don't need to change the costume, by the way. I think we can also just remove color. So let's run, let's click Gerald, where'd she go? <laughs> oh, she shrank, okay. So let's move our dirt off of her by just a tiny bit, okay. Now we'll let her, ah, oh my gosh, she's tiny. <laughs> okay, so that's crazy, but it worked. All right, continue on to puzzle number six. I kind of like Sprite Lab, it's kind of fun to play around with this. This reminds me a lot of Unity, which is another uh, programming platform that I think I might make some tutorials on using. All right, so this time it says a balanced diet is important. We have to feed the giraffe, so we need to add an apple. So let's do Sprite, make a new Sprite. We'll call it Apple. Apple with an L. Oh no, I accidentally hit the back button on my mouse. That's okay, we can go back to puzzle six. All right, let's give it the costume, Apple, at, let's not put it right at 200, 200, let's put it over here, and then let's also modify her speed so that when she's, 
she's wandering, but let's also set her speed a little faster. Let's see if we can do that. Actions. No, we can't modify her speed right now. Okay, so then it says, have it return the giraffe back to regular size when the two sprites touch. Okay, so then we need an event. When Geraldine touches, did it, it's just my sprite, that's fine. All right, we will set Geraldine's size to 100, is that good? No, yes, not sure. Okay, so she's getting smaller. Oh, goodness gracious. She moves so slowly. Let's make the apple draggable. Well, let's just forget it. We know it's going to work. All right, or else it wouldn't let us continue, right? Okay, so now we're going on to puzzle number seven, which is the final puzzle in this lesson. Free play. What more can you make your giraffe do? All right, so you can do whatever you want here, and your giraffe will move around and hopefully eat the apple and get big, and then you can wash her to make her small and make her vanish off the planet. Okay, so that's it. I think I'm going to just go ahead and leave this video here. This was not a very difficult lesson. It's kind of an annoying lesson, really, but that's okay. I think it's useful for you guys to be able to see this so you can understand what you're doing within the context of code.org, and seeing somebody else do it sometimes helps. Anyway, if you liked this video, if it helped you out, go ahead and leave a like. If you didn't like it, you know what to do. If you have questions or comments, leave them down in the comments. Uh, be sure and check out the description so you can see some of the equipment I use and some of my little messages that I like to leave in the descriptions for people who are willing to read them. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.